morning video van goers it's Tuesday and today I am going to make something and give it away I'm kind of basing it off of this thing that I made before loosely which is this stuffed head so now we're upstairs in the sewing room and I have this silk screen picture of a face that I had made and we are going to make it into something so first what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna cut her eyes out because we just don't want her to have eyes yet. I'll come back later, so don't get sad. Bloop. Beautiful. Later on, we are going to make eyes, and we're going to be like, Bleh. I'm going to cut her mouth out. Bleh, 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 bleh. We are going to make it awesome, because we're going to add a really cool mouth. Make some crazy lips for this woman. And she's going to be all black. Let's do it. For those of you who don't know much, this is a computerized sewing machine. It's got magical buttons all over it. I have a really cheap old sewing machine from like the 1980s, but obviously I am in Pennsylvania and all of my things are in Ohio. I made a little tube, which is kind of like a mouth. The mouth is attached. We have this little like duck face lip thing going on here which is really kind of perverted looking. We are gonna make it really awesome and we're gonna throw a tongue in there. When you sew, you have to sew right sides together and then turn them. So the seam is on the outside right now. And if you turn it, you can see we've made this like tongue. Attaching the tongue is super easy because the tongue is turned right side out. And we're just going to take the tongue and stick it in the hole. And stitch, 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 stitch. This is what it looks like right now, and that's perfectly okay. It's gonna look kind of like a chia pet, which is kind of cool. So I'm taking a little break right now to paint the eyes because you want the eyes to be dry before you can put them inside the head. I'm using white nail polish to paint these wooden balls. You can use balls that are already white, you can use ping pong balls, they work really really good. Or if it's around Halloween time, you can find really cool spherical erasers that already look like eyes, and then you don't have to paint anything. Paint the ball. I'm going to show you a trick. You're going to take red yarn, and all you're going to do is pinch the end and pull it. And you see how you get that like little tuft? Well, if you put this tuft right on your eye, and blow on it, it looks like veins. They actually embed red fibers into real glass eyes. That's awesome. As we're waiting for the eyes to dry, we're going to build some character on the face, which I've already started. I'm putting these eyelids in that I made with some stretchy material because I want to make a pocket that the eyeball will fit under like an, like an actual eyelid. Clouds. This is stuffing. I shove some of it in this nose here to keep it nice and puffy. So I've gone ahead and painted the irises on my little eyeballs. We're almost done with our little guy. Alright video van goers, here's the deal. If you want this, I want you to come up with an idea of what you would do with it. It can be further decorating it, making a body for it, giving it to your dog. Leave a comment below on what you would do with it. I'm gonna pick the best one for next week and then Whoever I give it to, you have to do what you say you're going to do with it. Try to keep it PG rated. Yeah, there are no words for that. Thus begins December, the season of giving. Come back tomorrow, we have a really special guest.